2022 IPCC report tells us that Southeast Asia will be one of the regions hit hardest by climate change. Without proper climate change mitigation, people across Southeast Asia, many of whom live along the coast, will face rising sea levels, floods, and increasingly severe weather events. The evidence is clear that we need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the energy sector, but high costs mean that this process has been slow. This is why it is so important to find a cheaper renewable source of energy. That is what I'm doing through my work. I'm on the hunt for next generation solar cell materials called perovskite. This type of solar cells has surpassed 25% efficiency and is predicted to cost less than silicon solar cells, which is what is most commonly used today. Perovskite is a class of materials with a specific structure. You can mix different atoms to create this material, which results in theoretically an unlimited number of perovskite materials combinations. When I started working on this topic in 2016 at MIT, I performed trial and error experiments in the laboratory, but soon realized that screening these materials would take too long and climate change does not wait. In 2018, I started incorporating artificial intelligence into my experimental process and building prediction algorithms to find perovskite solar cell material that would perform better. With the help of explainable AI, my team and I were able to find the underlying properties which led to solar cells with 4 to 6 times longer lifetime. We could also find optimum long lifetime perovskite materials faster by sampling only 2% of the experimental space instead of screening the entire chemical space. Incorporating artificial intelligence allows us to speed up experimental processes by 10 to 100 times, helping us to discover a cheap alternative solar cell material faster with less time and less resources. Here at HZB, we work on um, perovskite solar cell, so the um, research of new material for a photovoltaic application, and we are trying to reduce the um, carbon emission. Uh, and here we do it uh, uh, both with the uh, experimental um, uh, experiment and with the combinatorial research in order to uh, accelerate the research and we do this under Titan supervision. Uh, and Tita is also a very awesome daily supervisor and we have learned a lot from her. She always gives us uh, very useful uh, suggestions and uh, help us a lot. Yeah, we super love her. I hope by accelerating materials discovery process, we can find cheaper alternatives for solar cells faster and people, especially those who need it the most, will get access to clean electricity at lower costs. I also hope that we have more women and minorities working in this particular area because we need future technology to be more inclusive and adopted by diverse groups of people. Hi, my name is Titan Hartono. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Helmholtz Center Berlin, Germany, and I'm the finalist for Underwriters Laboratories ASEAN US Science Prize for Women 2023.